And this is signaling that they might go after someone in the draft. Now, is there anyone you think you have in mind from the draft that they could go after, that they might want to go after or target? I mean, based on where they're picking, Mac Jones is just uh, yeah, that's that's just I mean a no brainer for them. You have a guy comes from the Saban. Uh, Alabama connection with Belichick, right? Because Belichick and Saban work together in Cleveland. They've always been close. I mean, there's there's a huge Alabama to New England pipeline. You think over the past couple of years, Anthony Jennings last year um, went there. So, I mean, they, they just, they like Alabama players also because they're proven winners most of the time. Mac Jones uh, coming off a national championship. I mean, this it that's that seems to be a natural fit. Um, And also you think about Josh McDaniels and the offense that he was running for, you know, his entire career for the most part with Tom Brady, Mac Jones is a very similar quarterback in that he's not going to move around a whole lot, but he can, he can move around in the pocket um, and he can make throws. He's accurate, uh, smart player. Like I, I think Mac Jones is like a perfect fit for new England. Um, And I, I mean, aside from him being a good fit there, I think Mac Jones is a good fit anywhere. I'm a huge Mac Jones guy. Um, Uh, but yeah, look, I like Mac Jones. Let's come after me for that. I like Mac Jones. I, he is, I'll put him at, uh, my number, he's my number two quarterback in the draft. I'll go. Whoa. Oh, oh, pause. All right. We're we're going to have to change. We're going to have to change topics. (laughs) Mac Jones is your second best quarterback in the draft. Yeah. Why not? Behind Justin Fields. (laughs) Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Time out. So Justin Fields, your number one um sure yeah where's trevor lawrence on this uh Uh, i'll put lawrence at three stop no yeah we got another we got another lawrence hater on this podcast i'm not a lawrence hater i think he's just he's look trevor lawrence is a private school kid you know he's got all all this privilege he came he came from (laughs) this is actually a dumber reason than the last guy the last guy just hated Clemson, and he said that any anyone or anything from Clemson is just just terrible. You're literally just doing that with private school. <laughs> like, no, no, no. <laughs> so, so here's here's my thing on, here's my thing on Trevor Lawrence, and this is this is where I said when I introduced myself, I was like, look, you you want you want some just like regular, just probably not the smartest takes, but look, They're definitely not. I agree. Trevor Lawrence is too pretty to win a Super Bowl. <laughs> I'll say it. Have you seen Tom Brady in 2020? No, but but Trevor Lawrence, he's got the hair. He's got the, the – I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> Look, I think Trevor Lawrence is going to be a good NFL quarterback. I don't think – look, he's he's not – He's. I don't see, like, killer instinct in him. Tom Brady's got, like – and this is, this is just totally intangibles, and this is just me watching TV – Trevor Lawrence has never really been challenged. He had like a, like just a, a cheap ACC schedule that, and Clemson was obviously the most talented team in the ACC every year. And they just bulldozed through the ACC. And especially this year where they didn't really need to play anybody even out of conference. Like he can make a lot of throws on the football field, but he's always been playing against inferior talent. Oh, what happens true. Yeah, absolutely. That's not true. That's not absolutely. true. It's college. It's college. See, that all that stuff is subjective. It depends on what you mean by inferior talent. By that logic, Carson Wentz was obviously competing with inferior talent. Yeah, look so what that, happened when he got to the NFL. He just got traded to Indianapolis a couple weeks ago because he didn't work out in in Philly. Oh, that okay. That okay. That no. That was come <laughs> on, Trevor. I, I almost called you Trevor. Like, come on, Ben. Like, you're just. This is literally. I, I'm still on this. Like. This is like I literally had another guy on, who used to do this show with us who would come on here every week. And even if he wasn't on the topic, he would he would fit in like a Trevor Lawrence line just to shit on him. And, and it would be literally for the dumbest reasons. And I think you might have had like a much dumber reason. No, it's a better reason. It's, it's a real better. reason. Bad playing against less talent. Um too pretty. That's the thing. Uh, and, and but but over the past couple of years, and here's my biggest point because I forget this sometimes because people just you know take the conversation too far. He hasn't gotten better year over year. Now think about this for a second. This is this is my best argument right here. When he won the national championship his freshman year, everybody was immediately they they crowned him right. People crowned him. They were like, all right, well next Peyton Manning, he's gonna 
He's going to win two Heismans and two more national championships before he leaves here. He didn't win another national championship. He never won a Heisman. I cannot definitively say that Trevor Lawrence got better, that he improved over his last two years of college football. I don't know if he's going to improve in the NFL. I'm sh- like, if you put him in right now, he'll probably be a fine NFL quarterback. He'll be a starter. Like, but the problem is it, it's almost like the Tua thing in Miami because I'm watching Tua in Miami right now. And I'm like, I don't know if he can get better than this. I think he's already at his ceiling. Trevor Lawrence's ceiling is very high. I think, but I think he might already be at that. I haven't seen him improve over the past couple of years. He's still making the same throws he was making a couple of years ago, which are good, but it, he's not, he's not doing anything to wow me. I like normally guys rise up the draft boards over their last two years of college. He was already at the top. He didn't make any mistakes to fall, but he wasn't like, you know, I, I think we crowned him too early and we haven't been able to like look at him critically because of that. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.